Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the products that I have been loving lately. This is a roundup of products that I have been kind of using very, very frequently, things that I found myself wanting to reach for very often, and in fact, I've been loving them more than just lately. I've been loving a lot of these products for quite some time because it has been a while since I've done a video like this. My last current favorites video was about a year ago. I don't tend to do these regularly, as you can tell by just that timeline alone, but I wanna get a little bit more consistent about doing these. However, it just all depends on kind of what's going on in my life and what I'm reaching for and all that kind of stuff. So in any case, before the rambles take hold too much, why don't we just hop on into talking about the products that I've been loving lately. So the first product I wanna talk about is actually two different products, but they're both from the same line. These are the Pacifica Bio Glitter translucent toppers. These are top coats with chunky, like multi-shape, multi-size kind of glitters. I am sure that there's a more elegant and proper way to say that, but in any case, I have been reaching for these so, so much. If you look at the description box of any of my videos, or if you're just watching my nails in any of my videos, I've had this one on so much. This is the shade Gold Dust. So it has gold and kind of silver flecks running through it with all of those different sizes and a lot of dimension in terms of the tone as well. And so the last time I was at Shoppers Drug Mart, I ended up picking up a different version just for a different vibe on you know other occasions when I'm kind of feeling like something a little bit more cool, cool tone. This, was, this one is in the shade Fairy Dust and this one has primarily those silver chunky glitters but then it also has this like purple and blue kind of tone running through it as well. And it's absolutely beautiful. I am wearing it just as like an accent nail in the middle here, just my needle nail um, there. And you can't totally, totally see what it looks like on this because this also has its own metallic. I'm wearing an eyeshadow as a nail polish actually. So it already has a bit of a metallic in it, but I'll share some pictures of what this one and this one look like on the nails. They're so, so stunning. They are a little bit more pricey, like Pacifica nail polishes in comparison to other brands are a little bit more costly, but I ended up picking these both up actually when they were on sale. I just happened to be in shoppers both times when they were a couple bucks off, but with how much I've reached for these, it's totally fine by me. I actually am not offended at all by the price point because I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of both of these. And this is all I need for top coats or like glittery kind of top coats in my life, just these two. So this is a really good little small wardrobe of beautiful, beautiful glitters that I just can't seem to reach for enough. I feel like I wanna use them every single time I paint my nails because it adds that little bit of glam, that little bit of fun, and they've just been an absolute treat to reach for. So this next product is one that when I realized how close to done with it, it really cemented for me how much I absolutely love this product because I only got it back in March. This is the Derma E Scalp Relief Treatment and this contains tea tree oil, aloe vera, and an herbal blend, which is really meant to help with a irritable, dry, itchy, uncomfortable scalp, which I've mentioned numerous times on my channel. I do tend to have a really just bothersome scalp and this has changed my life. Like. <laughs> Seems dramatic, but it truly has. I did receive this in PR from Derma E right before they launched this line. And I'm so grateful that they sent it to me because I probably wouldn't have picked it up on my own, to be honest, because I had used a scalp treatment from Briogeo and although it was good, I didn't really feel like it really changed the game for me. It didn't really seem to have that much of an impact on the way that my scalp felt, but this, my goodness, I, as you can see, I've just been like drinking it. It's basically empty. I don't use this every time that I wash my hair by any means. I use this mm, maybe every week, once a week, maybe once every two weeks. And it just feels like heaven on my scalp. It's so unbelievably soothing and calming. And it makes my scalp just feel so happy in a way that I never really knew that my scalp could really feel with a treatment or anything like that. It's so nice and it has this beautiful like pearlescent blue kind of color to it as well. It's just absolutely stunning, but it comes in a little pipette, which I'm not going to lie. Like the, the dropper itself is not perfect. It can only um, pick up about this much product, but in reality it's okay because I can just keep kind of going back onto my scalp and, and targeting it as I go. But 
you just have to put this pipette either directly right onto the scalp and then use your fingers to kind of work it in or on the reverse, you can just kind of put it into the palm of your hands and kind of like use your fingertips to rub it in onto the scalp. And it is so nice. It's so nice. I, I don't know how to describe the sensation that it offers, but I do get just a really upset scalp sometimes. And so once I've washed my hair and my scalp is still a little bit like warm and wet, I work this through the roots and I just, I just feel so much instant relief and my scalp just feels so happy. And it truly does make my scalp feel good for the next few days until I wash my hair again. So that is amazing because I have been notoriously bothered by my scalp by the moment that my natural oils start coming through. And that's why I have to wash my hair basically every day. But with this, I have noticed that it has eliminated that like need to wash my scalp every single day to like wash my hair every single day. So this has been a game changer for me. And they did end up sending me another one of these in PR and I'm so unbelievably grateful. I'm so grateful because this has just really been an absolute treat for me, truly. This next product is probably gonna shock you just as much as it shocks me that I'm gonna talk about it, but I can't seem to stop wanting to reach for this. It has been something that I have had to like forcibly tell myself to stop using. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bullet Lipstick in the shade Angel Alessandra. I believe this is the Hot Lips or Hot Lips 2 kind of line. Just check out this packaging for one. It's unreal, it's so beautiful. It feels very, very luxury. I did receive this in a mystery box that I purchased last year from Charlotte Tilbury. And last year when I got this, maybe I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed by my lip collection, or perhaps it was just the fact that that box ended up kind of like rubbing me the wrong way a little bit with the lack of inclusive selection in the box. But ever since then, I've kind of been playing with this off and on. And this summer, this lipstick has become like my go-to lip color lately. This color is what I'm wearing today on my lips. It's a beautiful like peachy faded clementine kind of color. It doesn't look like that that much in the bullet, but on my lips, I don't know. Maybe it's like my summer kind of coloring with this color has just been an absolute treat. It's something that I can't stop wanting to reach for, but look at that color. It's just so easy to pair with just about everything. And this formula is really nice. It's a very hydrating bullet lipstick kind of formula. So easy to just throw on. And I just can't seem to want to not wear this lipstick, if that makes any sense. Like I have been preferring to reach for this over several of the products that I'm actually working on in Project Pans. I put this on for most of my work days, to be honest, because it's just been absolutely effortless. I've worn it so, so much as of late and I had to talk about it. I don't love Charlotte Tilbury as a brand, just like I said about the, the mystery box, it's kind of the same kind of story for most of the products, but because I have this in my collection, I found myself wanting to reach for it after I did my lipstick declutter and I can't stop reaching for it since then. So I had to talk about it today. It's so beautiful, it's gorgeous color, easy to wear formula, no complaints whatsoever. And then another makeup product, this is my last makeup product, so I only had two makeup products to share with you here, but this is the Vesca Beauty Moodlet Dream Liquid Eyeshadow. I received this from Vesca right before they stopped selling to Canada directly. So a bit weird that they sent this in PR and then they ended up kind of no longer offering Canadian shipping on their website, but they are available through, I will leave it in the on the screen. I think it's through the detox market, but I, I will let you know where they're actually available for Canadian consumers. But in any case, this is the cream shadow in the shade Lyra. I believe that's how you pronounce it, or maybe Lyra. She is so beautiful. Again, this is one of those things where when I feel like I don't know what to put on, I have been reaching for this a heck of a lot. It just seems to be this like effortless kind of formula and color that I can pair with anything and on any occasion. Like look at that shine. Look at that pigment. It's so beautiful. So it's like this soft rose gold, but it has so much dimensional glitter in it, but very, very fine. I guess not glitter, like shimmers, particles that just offer this absolutely beautiful sheen. And obviously this is a very expansive area, but on my lids, it just offers this beautiful 
warm, kind of ready, pinky kind of colored reflect on the eye and I can wear almost any eyeshadow in addition to it and it just seems to pull a little bit differently depending on what I pair it with and it's just very transformative. And I've been kind of leaning away from purchasing liquid and cream eyeshadows because I find that they are so statement. But this one, even though it is a statement and it does stand its own ground, it also complements so many different powder eyeshadows in my collection that it just is this like transformer kind of eyeshadow. I can wear it on its own. I can wear it with like greens, blues, mustards, browns, oranges, purples, and it just kind of, it just kind of morphs into something else no matter what I pair it with. And it's been such a treat. Of all the Vesca Beauty products that I've tried, this is the one that surprised me the most because I was, again, not wanting to try any more liquid shadows, but since they sent it, I was like, all right, I'll give it a try and I've fallen in love. I wear it very, very frequently. Anytime that I'm going to any sort of like social thing and I, I don't wanna wear like too much on the eyes, but I still want a little bit of something, something, I go for this. I can't stop. I can't stop reaching for it. That's the theme of this video is these are the things that I just can't stop reaching for. I've been loving them and I can't stop loving on them. And then there are two um, sunscreen products that I've been loving. They're both from the same line. These are both by Supergoop. These are the Play sunscreen and then the Glow screen. I did not like this at first, so this might be a little bit of a shock to you that I'm saying that now I'm super, super into this, but I think that my mindset has changed a little bit since I've gotten a little bit more of a summer tan. This one is glowy, hence the name Glow Screen, and it is like this like beigey kind of color that just has a ton of shine. So as you work it into the skin, that beigey color kind of still remains a little bit, but it just becomes this metallic, uh, not metallic, that sounds horrible, but just this, this sheeny glow. But when I didn't have the summer tan that I have right now, and I was a little bit more fair, I did find that this pulled very metallic on my skin. And that's why I say that. So you can see it has a ton of shine. It really bounces the light in this beautiful way. But when I was a little bit more fair, I did feel like it maybe was a little bit too apparent, maybe a little bit too abrupt, but uh, I've seen a lot of people who have more fair skin than myself, like use this and love it. I just, for some reason, it wasn't what I had expected at that time. But now I've come around to being head over heels in love with it. It is so beautiful. I'm wearing it kind of as a primer today, actually. And I've been reaching for it pretty much every day for the daytime because it just is beautiful. I don't have to wear any other complexion products with it. I'll just maybe put a little bit of concealer under my eyes and I can still do like my eyeshadow and my lips and a little bit of blush and just have this as my all over one and done complexion product and I love it. And you can see now it has none of that beige color to it whatsoever. So I do think that this can be pro probably not completely universal, but much more inclusive than um, you would imagine given the fact that it has like that more of a tint in the actual product, but it just becomes this luminous shine that just looks so healthy and so, so stunning. And then the other sunscreen that I have is also by Supergoop. This is the Play Everyday Lotion. When I felt like I was not into the glow screen, I ended up purchasing the Play. I bought the same size as this one, and this is my repurchase of it. I fell in love with this formula so much because it is completely, completely transparent. I don't know where I'm gonna show you this. I'll put it on my arm. But you can see that's quite a bit of product. I do have a little bit of the uh, eyeshadow still on my finger, but it ends up blending out pretty effortlessly. I probably put too much down, but pretty effortlessly to this point where it just, look, sinks into the skin and gives it this dewy, glowy, happy kind of look. I know it sounds silly, but it makes my skin look super healthy and it's absolutely completely effortless. It blends into the skin with no work whatsoever required. And I've loved it enough that I ended up repurchasing it in the large size because I've been using this down my neck and on my shoulders and in the, on my chest. And some days I use it on my face, but if I'm not wearing makeup or wearing makeup, I have been preferring to just reach for the glow screen because it kind of is like a glowy primer sort of feel. 
But this is just so easy to wear. My boyfriend, Patrick, he wears this as well during the day because it just is, it feels like nothing on the skin. But one thing that I will be aware to kind of warn you about is that for me personally, if I get this anywhere near my eyes, it is a problem. It does really bother me. I thought it was allergies for the first little while that I was reaching for this, but I've come to realize it's actually this product because it's a chemical sunscreen. It does seem to irritate my eyes. And that I think is a theme of chemical sunscreens for a lot of people anyways, but just to be kind of cognizant of that, I just want to make a mention, but it's beautiful. It's so good. Supergroup really knows what they're doing when it comes to sunscreens. And I did want to just talk about one product that is a fail on that topic. And that is a sunscreen that did not do anything for me. It is not a good experience. This is the Derma E Sun Defense Mineral Oil-Free Sunscreen SPF 30. I don't recommend this to anyone, no matter what. Do not, do not buy this. I did receive this in PR from Derma E and there are so many Derma E products out there that I absolutely love. This is just not, not it, not one of them. I will put the tiniest little bit on the back of my wrist, like just a tiny little bit of product that's even less than I had of the Super Goop one, but it is just gonna take forever to rub in. And honestly, it's never going to rub in. Look at this. Not very much product, but it just does not want to go anywhere. Look, they do have a body one that also does the same thing. Don't recommend, but look at that. Are you kidding me? It's still not rubbing in. Look at how effortless the other one was. And this one is still is leaving like a purpley white cast. It doesn't even feel nice on the skin and it never really seems to totally sink in. So you can see it does still leave a little bit of that cast on the face. This is horrendous, especially if you try to put like an actual substantial amount of sunscreen. Like what you really need is about a half a teaspoon or a quarter to a half a teaspoon of sunscreen. And you just, you cannot put that much on with this formula because it just never wants to sink into the skin. It just spreads forever and ever. I did a first impression and a second impression with this on my Instagram stories when I first got it. And I think a lot of you thought it was hilarious. It was such a riot to like witness, but it was very unfortunate for me because it was such, such an awful experience. So I do not recommend this for anyone at all, no matter what your concerns are, this will not address it. This will not be the solution to any problems whatsoever. Don't buy it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> Just don't, don't try it out. And the body one is the same thing. I have it here. I don't want to, can't be bothered, but I have the body one. It's the same thing. Don't go for it. I have heard that they have a sport sunscreen. That's actually really good. So I'm keen to try that. But as you can see, I got a lot of sunscreens in my repertoire at the moment. So I have been kind of keeping that in the back of my mind, but I'm not going to purchase it in the immediate future. And yeah, that is everything for the products that I have been loving lately. One little fail, I figured I'd just kind of toss it in there. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, what your thoughts on any of these products are, or if you're keen to try any of these things based on my recommendation, or let me know if you had a good experience with this Derma E um, sunscreen. Maybe there is somebody out there that this product is good for, but yes, that is everything. Like I said, thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.